Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I haven't done a try on haul video for you guys in a while, so today I wanted to take that opportunity and share with you guys a new brand that I recently discovered. They are called Jing. They are based out of Los Angeles, and they actually reached out to me to see if I wanted to um, try out some of their new pieces, and of course, I had to say yes. Some of their clothes are so, so cute, and I'm really, really excited to show you um, the four outfits that I picked out. I actually picked them specifically out in outfits. Um, some of the pieces that I picked out because they were online I feel like didn't really go with each other so there's maybe like one or two items that I had to like separate into its own outfit but overall I think all of the pieces looked really really cute and really good together so I thought I would share with you guys my little haul from Jing US. So I've already unboxed everything so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you what the pieces look like. The first is oh my god it's so cute you guys. This is going to be amazing when we're finally out of self-quarantine and social distancing because I think this is the cutest little spring set. It is this gorgeous beige blazer and shorts set. The shorts are high-waisted and kind of like balloon out a little bit. It's so adorable and not to mention they have these really unique shell detail buttons that I think make it a little bit different and a little bit snazzier than your average blazer. I got the shorts and the blazer in a size small and they fit perfectly. So actually pretty much everything that I got in my package was a size small and there was only one thing that was slightly tight but overall size small is a good fit for me if you guys uh, need reference I'm about 5'8 I am a 25 26 waist and for tops I usually go for small or medium depending on the fit I usually like my things a little bit oversized so yeah that's kind of my <laughs> sizing um, also the blazer set and one other set that I picked out, they are actually Jing's collaboration with Michelle Randolph. So yeah, really excited to wear this. The next piece I got, I am so in love with. It is this white blouse. It is a really cute oversized white button down and it's made of this awesome kind of like super super soft silky material up against the sun it looks quite transparent but it actually looks pretty okay when you have it on this is meant to be oversized so i did just pick this up in the small i love the asymmetrical longer back hem and i love that in the back there's this beautiful pleat um, right in like the kind of upper back area that splits open and it kind of gives that tuxedo vibe. Oh, I just think it's so beautifully made and I love, love, love this shirt so much. I picked it out to pair with these awesome bicycle shorts. I'm actually wearing them right now. But yeah, I have been really loving the denim bicycle short trend re uh, lately and this is right up my alley. I love that the shirt kind of gives off a effortless but feminine look while the bicycle shorts, the cutoff shorts, are super kind of like cool dude vibes. The shorts also are super, super comfortable. The material is very stretchy. They are quite tight, but I like that they really look like your typical bicycle shorts, but just are denim and they're, they've got like the frayed unfinished hem um so yeah i do actually really appreciate that they're very tight because i have a different pair that i got from pretty little thing that are looser and that's like a different vibe i feel but i love that these are very tight and they fit just like bicycle shorts i actually also got this amazing faux leather vest to go with this outfit but when i actually tried it on together it didn't look how I thought it would look with the top so I actually I love the vest I love the top and I love the shorts but I don't think that the vest looks good with the top specifically so I actually paired the vest with this crew neck that I'm wearing right now which is just a crew neck from my own brand um, capsule and yeah I think it looks really cute I think this is the perfect kind of oversized faux leather vest to go with hoodies to go with crew necks it gives a very effortlessly cool vibe I actually found this vest on um, 
Ellen V. Laura. If you guys follow her either on Instagram or YouTube, she's great on both. But she paired this with a black hoodie while she was in Japan, and it was such a look. I love how that looked on her. It's just got this really oversized boyfriend fit to it, which you guys know that I love in a lot of my clothes. And I love the exposed silver detailing, the silver buttons, I love the big lapels, I love the exposed silver zipper. I think overall it's just a very trendy, very fun piece. Kind of staying on trend with the <laughs> quarantine, self-isolation, social distancing vibes. I actually picked out this cute little sweatsuit set from them. So this is another one of their collaboration pieces with Michelle Randolph. It comes with these really cute um, like sweat shorts. They're very high-waisted. These are the pants that I wish I got uh, like one size up. The waist area for some reason is super super tiny. Yes, it does have an elastic waist, but it's just super tiny. Like the other pants fit me totally fine. Um, all the other pants fit me totally fine around the waist, but this did kind of squish my <laughs> muffin top a little bit. So just something to keep in mind. Um, I think I could fit a medium in these, but they still fit fine. They're just a little tight around the waist. They're super high-waisted, which I love. And I absolutely love this creamy beige color. The sweatsuit, or like I guess the zip-up, um, is that same color as well. There's a lot of kind of little details on this that I think is super cool. For example, the zipper actually goes all the way around the hood as well. Also, it's got this cute frayed edging along the zipper, along the pockets, and along the um, sleeves and the hem. The sleeve has this really cute brushed metal button detailing, and then the hem is, um, it's kind of that, what is it called, like horse saddle or asymmetrical shape where it's shorter around the sides and then it's longer around the front and the back. So I think overall they really tried to make the sweatsuit top a little bit different and I think it is very cute. I've been wearing this set a lot at home and it's been the perfect kind of transition set away from my longer sweatpants and sweatsuits because it's starting to get a little bit warm in Vancouver. As you can tell, it's been very sunny, and these past couple days have been super hot in my apartment. If you guys have seen any of my content from back in the summer, you know that my apartment gets sweltering hot in the sun, so it definitely has been really great having this set. The last outfit, I went a little bit out of my comfort zone as far as textures and styles go. I picked out this super unique top. I feel like I've said super a lot in this video, but it's a very unique top. It has this racer back tank, but then it added these sleeve details. That's this like amazing net um, texture or net material, I guess. So it kind of gives off this really gothy, but also feminine vibe. I just think they did this top so well. I love how it looks. It looks so good tucked into high-waisted bottoms as well because the material is kind of thin enough that it just tucks really, really comfortably. I paired these with these amazing little leather shorts. They are that kind of balloon slash trapeze style where they go out around your hips a little bit and they cinch you in at the waist. So it kind of makes you look like you're wearing a little leather skirt. If you guys know me, you know I love my distressed denim shorts, my Daisy Dukes, that sort of vibe. So this is definitely different for me, but I actually really like how it looked. And then for outerwear, I picked out this really, really cute um, sweater. And it's just like a really basic cardigan. But what makes it a little bit different is that the sleeves actually kind of flare out a little bit. So I just thought it was a unique spin to your average cropped cardigan. I love these thick cable knits. I think they are so cute. I love anything with kind of like ribbed detailing actually is what I realized um, in tank tops, in sweaters. I just feel like vertical rib details always just work and I love the optical illusion that it gives your body. But the sweater is also just kind of perfect with these shorts. It cuts off just below where the waistline of the shorts are. So I think it adds this very cute feminine touch to this outfit. 
I would even switch out the top and go with a simpler top and then wear the sweater on top. I think that would be very cute as well. But um, yeah, I kind of wanted to throw together an outfit that I wouldn't usually go for. I think all the other pieces were very much so my typical getup. But this outfit was a little out outside of my comfort zone and something different. So I wanted to, you know, push my boundaries a little bit and try something new. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. It was quick and dirty, but that's kind of how I like it sometimes. <laughs> For everybody who is working from home or studying from home, I hope you guys are doing okay. I am sending you all my love from sunny Vancouver, which is rare because it's usually rainy Vancouver and I feel like it's going to rain next week, so we'll see how my mood is then, but I have been really trying to stay pretty positive, but most importantly, stay very sanitized and very safe. Um, so yeah, I'm trying my best to answer as many DMs, as many tweets, um, and as many comments as I can on my social media right now, just so I'm kind of keeping you guys company during this rough time in the world. So if you guys want to check in with me, if you want to say hi, tweet me, DM me on Instagram, comment on my videos, I will try my best to get back to you guys and say hi back. All right, I hope you guys are having an amazing day wherever you are in the world, and I will see you guys in my next video.